Hi there, today I'm going to talk about how you can print artwork that you've created in Procreate. It's something I've seen come up in the lettering community quite a bit. People wanting to know how do we print from Procreate, especially since there's no CMYK option. So today I want to take you through a few tips on how you can set up your artwork to make sure that the quality is good enough for printing. So it's not possible to print directly from Procreate. There's no sort of send to print button or anything like that. Also at the time of filming this, Procreate doesn't allow CMYK color profile. It only works in RGB. So with printing, it's important to understand the difference between those two. RGB is for digital files for viewing online. So that's a, um, a color profile that you would use when working on screen. But CMYK, on the other hand, is for working in print. So the CMYK, that just simply stands for cyan, magenta, yellow and black. That's what we need to convert the artwork to in order to print it out. So that's the first thing. Your colour format needs to be in the right format to print out. So that's step number one. The second important thing is your resolution. So your resolution should be of a good enough quality to print out. So you want to be working at at least a 300 dpi, um, if not higher. Sometimes people use 600, but 300 is usually adequate in most situations. And DPI just stands for dots per inch. And that just means there's more density, more dots in the detail. So in that square inch, in that dots per inch, that's, um, that holds 300 dots. That's what that means. 72 DPI is another common one, but that's what we would use for on-screen only. So you wouldn't want to print at 72 DPI. It just wouldn't give you a good enough quality and you'll get blurring and pixelization. So it's best to go for 300 um, to make sure that you've got a high enough resolution. Okay, so we've gone through color profile, we've gone through resolution, and now our third thing to think about on setting up our artwork is the dim dimensions of the artwork itself. So we need to make sure that the artwork is sized with the final print in mind. So usually you'll, you'll know what size, what dimensions you need to print your final print to be. So we want to set that up in the beginning and make sure that the artwork is large enough. So it's important that these things are set up in the beginning of um, your artwork. So you, you're setting these properties in the beginning when you create your artwork apart from colour format. So if you look at it, it's resolution and your physical dimensions. They both need to be set at the beginning so that you know that you're working in a high enough quality. Technically you could enlarge the image, you'll start to experience blurring and pixelization which isn't what you want when you want to print out a really nice clean sharp image. So if we look in Procreate now about how we would go about that, if you come down here to create custom size, I usually come into this in order to set up my artwork because this allows me to make sure that the DPI is set high enough. So I usually come in and create this custom size and I do about 3000 by 3000 pixels and now I'm going to make sure that my DPI here just click that and that is 300. And while you can see color profile there, you'll see that's locked to RGB. So there's no um, option to choose anything other than RGB there. So your dimensions obviously might be different to mine, but as far as just the setup, that's how we would create a new document and make sure that that 300 DPI is set. So I'm just going to go back into a print I have, uh, right, so I'll open this and this is something that I've uh, designed and ready to go and I'd like to print this out. So this is set up with the right dimensions. We've got the um, high enough resolution. It's at, at least 300 DPI and I'm happy with the dimensions. So what do we do from here? Okay, so the first step is we wanna export or share our image. So if I go back to the gallery here, this is something to keep in mind actually as well. Some of these file formats aren't appropriate to save a something that you'd like to print out. So they use compression. So for instance, JPEG and a PNG, they are um, not suitable for printing because they remove some of that information to, to make the file size smaller. 
So either a PSD or a TIFF are the better options to choose for print. So I'm gonna choose a TIFF. So a TIFF is great for printing. It's lossless, so it keeps all the color information and the quality. So we'll just choose Save Image. So for this example, I'm gonna be using Affinity Designer on the iPad, because I wanna keep it all contained on the iPad for today. So if you have Adobe and a computer, you can um, by all means export it, open it in Adobe and just change the color mode to CMYK from there. But we're just gonna be looking on the iPad today and, and I'll use Affinity Designer to show you how you can do it from here. So if I click on the plus sign and then new document, so this is where we're going to set these properties that we need here. So this is um, the purpose of this is to convert into CMYK. So this top box here that says device, click on that and you'll see a little fly out. And if you scroll down, you can see print press ready. So select that one. It's given me a default size of A4 here, but you'll see you can also come over here and change the dimensions manually. So I know my other file is 3000 pixels square. So I'm gonna change this unit measurement here to pixels and type in 3000. And you'll see even though I've um, changed pixels, it'll keep with millimeter measurement. So it's 254 millimeters. And now I can see I've got my 300 DPI here. But if you didn't, you can change this just by clicking on it. So the next bit is important. We're going to look at the color profile. So if we just look down here, it's set as CMYK. So, so now what I'm gonna do is place the artwork that I exported from Procreate inside this canvas. So in the menu, choose the document icon and you'll see the option to place image. So choose from photos and then navigate in the gallery. And here you can see the TIFF that I exported from Procreate. So now I can place the image into Affinity. So now if we back out into the gallery, I don't know if you can see that, that's a little bit small, but it does say down here, it gives a little info preview and it says CMYK. So I know that my document is CMYK and I'm set up for printing. If you had an Air Printer compatible printer set up, you could um, technically print straight to there. And so now that we've got our color profile ready, we can export this file. Um, so yeah, go to export. And remember we need the, um, the best file format that we can use for this would be a TIFF. So you can select a TIFF from there. There's obviously a lot to professional printing and more than we've got time to go through in this video. If you're interested in deep diving further, then there's a link in the description that will go through a lot of the other key elements like learning about how to create bleed, etc. But I just wanted to make sure that you really knew these fundamental um, key things that you need to set up for your document, especially using Procreate. So just to review those three things that we need to make sure that we've got set up in the beginning is the color profile, the um, print resolution and the physical dimension. They are really important to get set up in the beginning. Great, so I hope that you have learned something from this video and that it's been helpful for you if you're looking to print out your artwork. And I hope in the future now you'll be able to set your file sizes up at a really good quality. It's, it's not a bad habit to get into, even if you don't initially plan to print something, you might change your mind later. So knowing that you have it set up at a really good resolution and a good physical size, then you know you're good to go. So um, if you have any questions or further comments, just leave a comment below. Give this a like if you liked it and subscribe um, and I'll see you next time.